All right, let's tackle our first problem, which is sample A. The problem states, what is the solution to three times, open parentheses, two x minus one, close parentheses is equal to three. So all this is asking for, it's asking to find the value of x for which this entire equation, because of the equal sign, we're calling this an equation, is true, meaning the left side has exactly the same value as the right hand side of the equal sign. Now the easiest way on a test would be to plug in each value for x that's listed to check if left hand side and right hand side of the equal sign match. But we also need to understand where we are getting the solution from instead of just choosing a sam um, an answer. In order to do so, we would actually have to solve this equality here, or this equation, for x. To do so, the first step would be to open up the parentheses by using the distributive property of multiplication. And the distributive property of multiplication simply says that it is multiplication of a sum by multiplying each add in separately and then add the products if possible. In general terms, that means A gets multiplied by, open parentheses, B plus C, close parentheses. And what this says is A gets distributed to B and A gets distributed to C. The mathematical operation in between B and C is a plus, therefore we are putting a plus in between on the right hand side as well. So that means A times B plus A times C. Um, this is very abstract, so in terms of using a specific or a concrete example, let's use three times and when we're dealing with parentheses, we don't necessarily have to put the multiplication sign. Open parentheses 2 plus 1, close parentheses. Using the distributive property of multiplication, we are saying 3 times 2 plus 3 times 1. Which now makes 6 from 3 times 2 plus 3 times 1 is equal to 3 and 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. Therefore, this entire expression is equal to 9. Now, could we have said 2 plus 1 is 3 times 3 is equal to 9? Well, most certainly, but I'm trying to prove the distributive property of multiplication or how it applies. Therefore, I chose the long way. And there are instances when you cannot add the terms inside the parentheses. For example, let's look at the next sample. <clears throat> 3 times open parentheses, 4 times y, plus 5, close parentheses. 4y and 5 are two separate terms. They're unlike terms. That means they cannot be combined. Therefore, when we are using the distributive property of multiplication, we are multiplying 3 times 4y, 3 times 4 times y, plus 3 times 5, 3 times 5. And that will give us 3 times 4 is 12, times y, plus 15. And this is our final solution because 12y and 15 are unlike terms. They cannot be further combined. Having looked at that, let's go back to our example. 3 times, open parentheses, 2x minus 1, close parentheses is equal to 3. The problem is a little extended because we have two sides, but that should not um, change our distributive property. So let's copy the problem on this side and then... I will go through this step by step. So in order for us to open up the parentheses again, I'm going to use the distributive property of multiplication. I'm going to distribute the three to each term inside the parentheses. And I'm going to write that out on the next line. Okay, so first term, 3 times 2x, 3 times 2x. Second term, 3 times negative 1, or minus, so minus 3 times 1 is equal to 3. So 3 times 2 is 6, x does not undergo any changes. 3 times 1 is 3, and the sign in between is minus. Okay, so now we're left with 6x minus 3 is equal to 3. Well, 6, 6x minus 3 is equal to 3 does not mean that x is by itself yet. We don't know what the value of x is. We could guess, but that's not 
very obvious in most problems. Therefore, let's solve for x. In order to do so, we have to get rid of all the surrounding elements first. Since we have a minus 3 here, the opposite operation would be plus. And because, again, it's an equality, we need to do every operation on each side of the equal sign. Therefore, we are adding 3 to both sides of the equation. Minus 3 plus 3 equals out, comes out to 0. What's left is, is 6x. Copy that down here. 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. Okay, well, x is still not quite by itself. It's actually together with 6, and it is combined by multiplication. In order to eliminate the 6 in front of x, we have to do the opposite operation of multiplication, which is division, and we are dividing by 6. Again, we have to do that on both sides of the equation in order to keep the equality. And let me write the equal sign a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so now 6 divided by 6 is just 1. 1 times x is x. And again, on the right-hand side, 6 divided by 6 is just 1. And that is our answer. So we are choosing answer number C. Well, let's prove that this is actually the correct answer. And the way to do that is what we wanted to do originally anyways, to plug that value into X and to check if the left side is equal to the right side. So we are substituting X with one. Now we can actually go ahead and solve the, the um, expression inside the parentheses first, since we have uh, like terms. 2 times 1 is 2. There's nothing to do on the right-hand side except for copy down 3 all the way. 2 minus 1 is 1. And last but not least, 3 times 1 is 3, and there we have it. 3 is equal to 3, and again, our answer is x equal to 1.